This is Adam from Precise Pet Care. Welcome to our Staff Accounts, Pay Rates, and Permissions training video. You can manage your staff from the Administrative Users page. We are in Profile View right now, where we can see the different information for each individual staff member, either in snippets on the summary page, or if we go to the individual tabs, we will see information only for that staff member. If we go to birthdays view, we can see a month view of the birthdays. If we go to table view, we can see multiple staff all on one page. And if you need to perform bulk actions to staff members, you would do it from table view, whether that is sending them messages, which can also be done from the communication messages page, setting their status, or bulk editing them. To add a new staff member, click on new user. Enter an email address. You can have the system generate a random password or specify a password for them. Enter name. If you wanted to have the schedule show an abbreviated name for them, you can add it as a nickname. If you add a color, their name will appear in that color on the schedule. Adding a birthday will give you a monthly email notification of the upcoming birthdays and they can be in it. And of course, you can see them in birthday view. If you add a photo, that's the photo that clients would see when they are on a journal. Photos can only be added by management the staff cannot add them themselves. The pet sitters cannot add them themselves. If they are managers, of course, they could. Under account type, you have three choices. Master users have access to everything and can do everything. With managers, you can give them specific permissions. You can give them page permissions if you wanted them to only view the schedule or any of the other pages. You could set a manager access begins date, and using that, they will not be able to see any information in the system from before that date. You can show or hide their financials, which means that if there are pages like the master schedule, you, you wanted a manager to not have access to the financial information on, you can hide it on that page. Now, there are some pages where if they have access to that page, they will always, always have access to financial information, that being the invoices and transactions pages. If you use territories, you can also set territory permissions for managers. Pet sitters are given limited access and they will only have access to information related to the clients which they are assigned to. If you wanted a pet sitter to be a social media manager, you could turn that on for them. That would mean they have access to the photos and only the photos for all clients, even clients that they don't have access to. If you have any staff which are also a client for you, you can give them dual access to their client information using a single account with the user as also a client setting. The rest of the contact information is optional and informational. Of course, if you use text messaging, the cell phone would be the number that the system would use to send them text messages. List and staff contacts means that they will show on the staff contacts page that other staff have access to. The position and bio will show for clients if, if those are available and they're viewing the journals. The photo will also show on that same page. If you use time tracking, you can set an hourly pay rate. And you can also set custom rates for per visit pay. If you had a specific service that they got paid 
a little bit more or a little bit less for. You could set their pay to be whatever you needed it to be. And if you had a sitter that got a custom rate only for a specific client, you can do that here as well by choosing that specific client. Custom additional pet pricing allows you to customize the per pet pricing. And say you normally pay an extra $3 for the third dog. Maybe you could only pay this sitter $2. And before you save, you can choose to send them an email notification. That would include their, their password if you did so. And the notes are internal notes that that staff member would not see. When you're done, click on the Save button. Thanks for watching.